Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're flying. Uh, we're scheduled to maybe possibly hit that mountain. Um, I'm just going to max out the deployment altitude on our parachutes, <laughs> just in case. Um, we don't have any, there's not much point keeping that bit of information up. We're coming in a bit quick and a bit fast. I'm a bit concerned it's all going to go horribly wrong because we are simply not losing enough speed to use the parachutes. So I'm kind of concerned that we are just going to lawn dart Jed into the ground. Um, yeah, I am very concerned we're just going to lawn dart Jed into the ground. Spin that and dump our mass. Please be safe enough to launch the parachutes. Please be safe enough to dock 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 the parachutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here comes our first casualty. Whoops. Okay, so that was essentially a plane flight without the ability to slow down whatsoever. Whoops. Oh dear. Well, we're playing on moderate, which means you don't respawn, so Jed's dead. <laughs> Jed is dead. Alright, let's return to the space station. Or do I want to revert? Hmm. How do I feel about this? No, I'm going to play it on hardcore mode. Back to the space center. So I wasn't slowing down enough. I had accelerated, accrued far too much horizontal speed, and there was nothing I could do to get rid of it. So I earned land speed records, altitude records, and I killed the Kerbin. Jebediah missions, orbital service mission, missing a mission, collision award, G-force award, waters award, splashdown, multiple missions, research three, altitude award. Unfortunately, and there we go. Jebediah Kerman is dead. <laughs> Whoops. We can't really afford to hire a new one either. Well, we can do, but it would be all of our money. So let's try that mission again. Um, it's the Swivel 2, and we're just going to go straight up and straight down. On the hope, on the that this time we won't kill our only pilot. Ah. Uh, anyway, a moment of silence for Jack. There we go. Let's get on with the business of launching these poor little green fools into space. Alright, uh, I'm happy with the thrust. Let's see how high we can get with our guard. So that you will speed break right kind of aerodynamic control to uh, just trade altitude and just like that. That was... Oh, SAS on. Thank you. <laughs> I don't mind having a slight angle. Back up. There we go. Up. I'm trying to guess which way is the correct control direction. A little hard. We have to fight it a bit because it's always going to want to go towards that marker there. So I have to basically put a lot of control authority on. But I'm hard over on the UR at the moment trying to get it to go because it wants to go off in this direction. Let's at least try and pull it back so we're not going quite so far that way. All right, so we do have a slight angle off that way. I can cope with that. Let's um, just try and straighten it up as best we possibly can because I want altitude. And let's reduce 
simply going too fast. Ooh, suddenly it's getting a bit easier to turn this thing. Alright, let's get that crew report. So yes, that's why. <laughs> Without the atmosphere, we can just go straight up even though we're slightly slewing. Need the engine on. <laughs> Predict apoapsis. Currently 49. Problem is, we won't be going very quick when we get there. So there's telling me that my, our peak altitude is going to be high enough. Question is, will we be going over 140 meters a second when we get there? In fact, our altitude will be higher than it needs to be. All right. So it's simply a question of, so that's our speed, that's our altitude. I am going to bin this so that we're not quite so massive when we come back down. We will be going faster than that, so we will get this contract. Deploy. Contract complete. Nice. Technically, because we're still going nice and slow, out of the thousand of the bit that Jeb was going when he hit the ground, um, we should be able to deploy our parachutes nice and safely on the way down. But as we're going up, we're just going to see how what is our 63 we're expected to get up, up to. We don't have any science we can do over this. We're expected to come down in the water over there. Quite quiet. Hmm. Flying! It says there, flying! This is an awful lot more safer than what poor old Jeb had to deal with. Um, yeah, basically, too fast, too low, not enough time to slow down. So Val will be getting an awful lot of medals from now on because we need a pilot for an awful lot of these things. We are descending now and I am going to deploy the parachutes. Yep, they will be armed. Drop that minimum pressure. So basically, they're due to go off at some point. Now, the only hope I'm thinking of is that we'll go, hopefully be going slow enough. Put a heat shield on this. I'm not expecting it to get hot enough. We're not going that fast, but I do want these parachutes to come out as soon as possible. So deploy the minimum possible amount of pressure and the maximum amount of altitude. They're armed, so as soon as they're ready to, they should go off. I just don't know what the pressure reading on that actually is for point one. So that should pop pretty soon. Now it's unsafe. We're going too quickly. Well, the last trajectory was too flat. This one apparently is too steep. Well, I'm willing to break one of them if it means we slow down. We are slowing down. I'm happy to announce that we are slowing down. Slowing down a lot. There they go. Huzzah! Okay. <laughs> so it's simply a case of making sure we had thick enough atmosphere. And as soon as it became safe to, they popped. Oh, apparently we are flying over the grasslands. Open. Crew report. Um, yeah, I'll, I will overwrite. We'll get that one again at some point. Give me mission 2. Log pressure data. Give me a temperature scan. Whoop! 
Yep, sorry about that, Val. <laughs> so we're going to land on the grasslands. Apparently so. That's where we're going to end up. And she'll come back alive. Which is better than a good friend. Jeb died a deeply unfortunate and unpleasant death. Because I put him on far too far flat a director. Anyway, guess black. <laughs> but he simply didn't have enough atmosphere and time to slow down. Yes, don't go too flat and too fast if you don't have wings. If you've got wings and you're going too flat and too fast, you can at least pull up. <laughs> Trade some of that altitude for speed. For a full time walk, we are going really slowly. To the point where I am just going to cut that parachute. Those ones should deploy. Looks like we're going down nose first. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about this, Val. I keep swinging you around. Where's the ground? Where's the altimeter? There's the radar altimeter. So that's saying 500 and a bit. Alright, so the ground is roughly about 200 a bit above. Should be able to see a shadow soon. Yeah, I know Val, you're coming home safe. Really? No shadow? I would like some shadow. Alright, D time warping, I think I'm close enough now. Ah, there is the shadow. There goes the shadow. Alright, thank you very much. Strange clipping event. Ah, because of the time warp. Yep, yep, you're near the ground, Val. There it is. Doink. Doink. Uh, close. Let's, um,. Roll the pod a bit, so that your hatch is in a useful, useful location. And, if you would be so kind, be so kind as to get out. So as you can EVA report, keep experiment, be so kind as to take data, store data, and get back in. And then you'll be able to open that up. Flip the thing around again. Observe that mystery goo. There we go. That's from the grasslands. Log that temperature display. And then give me... That's a review. Log that pressure data. Nice. And then finally, give me a crew report for you see. Record a cruise assessment. It's grassy. It's landed. We're back. Recover vessel. All right, we did a contract. Huzzah, it cost us the life of an astronaut. Oh no, a moment to sign up for Jeff. All right, carry on. So we earned 20 science. Now a total of 97. We got quite a bit of the parts back. Not the engine, because we had to bin that. More expensive than I would have liked, but so be it. And you got no XP, but you did get a G-Force 4 ribbon for 4G or more, three seconds, and an altitude record. It's because you got above 1,000 bit, but I also set a few records. Let's scan that. Nothing of any interest. Oh, there's the science one. Next science. All right. So, do we have any other missions that would be interesting? Escape the atmosphere is something we could probably do, actually. Haul a flea into orbit. Get it quite high into orbit. 400,000 a bit out of it. Test a swivel in flight. See, that's a bit tricky because it's a very narrow altitude and speed range. Perform the test. We're going between that speed range between there. Uh, those are nice, much easier to do with the planes. Get a hammer really high. Conduct survey. Investigate the island airfield. Hmm.
I think, I think we can get above 75. We, the ro last rocket we built got above 70, got above 63. So we should, with a very single go, be able to get out of the atmosphere. So that's the rocket we'll build to finish this office head off. So let's take this and call it Vacuum XP1. We're going to experience a vacuum. All right, so pretty simple what we're going to do is we are going to, rather than add more engines to this, we are going to put a pair of radial decouplers on. I'll have to resume in a bit. About there. And we are going to strap onto the sides of this a pair of hammers. One hammer, two hammer. Hmm. Or a thumper. I have problems with controlling that amount of thrust. Just go for one. Alright, so they'll burn first for 23 seconds, giving us that much acceleration. Then we'll engage the main engine. All right. Save. I believe just pitching up or down to give the right. I don't know which way it is. <laughs> um, is there anything else I want to do to this? I think what I will do is I'll. That's the engine, I need that. Let's take those off. And bring those around so they are aligned like that. Grab the fins, put them on a four times symmetry. Stick them in like there. Grand. All right, same science pillar as before. We are gonna go into space, or at least Val is. We're gonna sit here and pray she comes back. Again, I'm going to set this one for the minimum pressure of that and maximum altitude so it pops as soon as it possibly can. Make sure we can get that lower. Alright, fine. Alright, um, I don't know, give me 2000 on that parachute if you wouldn't mind. Just so it opens up a little early. And we will probably want. Um, yeah, let's make this thing a little bit more aerodynamic, shall we? Let's put nose cones on those. All right, vacuum, exper ex vacuum experimental or experience one is ready to go. Should we launch? Should we launch? Hmm. Don't have any more sight. Let's um, let's go pay a quick visit. Not to the top. Well, actually, we're we're going to get out of the atmosphere, don't we? Focus to temperature survey. All right, that need a plane for that. Held it into a really high orbit. Test that for certain flight altitude. Get you up to that high and then fire it. The reputation is vaguely positive right now. Declining hertz. Hmm. What could we get? Oh, altimetry sand. So we can put that high up and get some scans for it. First probe, battery packs, science juniors, equipment storage. All right. Oh, I think that means I can bring everything on board. High gain antenna, pair of radiator panels. Flight control, an actual wing! <laughs> Gives me aerodynamic control. An inline reaction wheel. Aviation, big wings. Construction parts, so more crew, struts, fuselage, bigger stack to coupler, an adapter, and a launch stability thing. An advanced rocketry, oh, a little rocket. An even tinier rocket, and a bigger fuel tank. 
interesting. All right, so I've got 97. What is it I want? Well, I think we will do this mission and then we'll probably go and investigate the old air theater, which means building a plane. So we will research that. Wow, do we not have the money. <laughs> All right, got 52. That's more science. I'll take that one. And again, wow, do we not have the money. What we might have to do is take some of the survey contracts, build a plane, and then go and have a look. But that'll be later. Next episode, we're going to see how high we can get. We're going to try and get out of the atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll see you then. I've been the Marmoset. These little fellows have been in the Kerbal Space Program. The moment of silence for Jeb. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe, and to press F 